We created Design Miami in 2005. During Art Basel, we evolved this idea out of a, a series of, of shows we had done each year called Art Loves Design. The vision was really to create a forum that would gather the most important designers from all over the world and create an opportunity for the design community to come together and celebrate design. Design was equally collectible as art, but really wasn't seen in that light and had never been presented in a forum which was about collecting in, in the same context as art. And so, of course, collaborating with Art Basel was ideal. This is the most galleries we've ever had. I think it's very important to feeling them, supporting us and, and understand how design and architecture is, is important. Six years ago, people and collectors were coming mainly for the art fair and were curious about the design and maybe wanted to visit the fair. But now they are coming also for the design fair. The fair is a place, it's like a snapshot, the most representative indicator of the design art market. It is a moment, a special moment, a special rendezvous for all the galleries, for all the designers, for all the collectors. And of course, at that point, it's very important to discuss, to see the newcomers. I think people, they will be more concentrated and more educated in looking for most important and conceptual pieces. It's impossible not to be at the Design Miami Basel because it's at the global forum for designers. Design on site will provide an in-depth look into the individual designers on the cutting edge, delving into the work of Oscar Zieta, Ruud Peters, John Maeda, Kiki Van Eyck, Studio Yog and others. The fact that Secondo Mes shows my work exclusively in, in Basel, like a solo show, is very important because um, you need to see the work in the context of the other work of one designer because otherwise it's really difficult for people or collectors to understand the work. I think what this year's Design Miami Basel will show is the emerging and really exciting world of digital design. It's really caught everybody's imagination and I think it will you know, expand and explode the collectors' ideas and, and potential for what they can buy into. The awards that we give um, and the, the, the presentations that we do, the talks that we host, we're clearly advocating emerging talent. The W Hotels Designers of the Future Award is really important because it allows for us to support emerging talent as well as creativity. The award, I think, is Design Miami's um, project to sort of expand an idea of how design is thought about. We get a lot of confidence. Um, to be creative uh, in this kind of uh, hothouse. The designers of the future this year are particularly interesting in that they present four very diverse approaches to design. I think Design in Miami is important because it's a good opportunity for us to bring the human computer interaction work that we do into the design community. We are working across many different media. It can't easily be encapsulated into one phrase or domain to then begin sharing our work because it's emergent, it's new, it hasn't been classified yet. And there's a lot of other designers that, that are at Design Miami Basel that are able to present their same work at a high level. They're showing three works. The third one is uh, Swan Chandelier, a piece which we've looked at and developed over a period of almost two years now, um, which now finally comes into being and it's a um, sound reactive light installation. Um, the first third of it uh, you see here in the background um, and yeah, we can't wait to, to present it there. We not only want to associate uh, ourselves with those designers, but uh, uh, have the opportunity to brief them on specific uh, needs that we want to reinvent and innovate the experiences. What we can basically offer to the designers is be part of the creation, uh, but then also offer them the international distribution uh, through the W Hotels to showcase their work. One of the great things about the way we've structured the design talks at Design Miami is that we, we like to leave it very open and for it to be really just a conversation amongst people on stage. Zaha Hadid will be with us and we'll have a conversation with Edwin Heathcote and talk about architecture and the role of the media within the world of contemporary architecture. 
we'll have a second talk which is really about technology and how that's becoming an ever greater part of the world of design and art. The third talk is, is really an opportunity for us to hear about the fresh perspectives of our four winners of the W Hotels Designers of the Future Award. We'll have three extraordinary satellite presentations this year that spotlight trends and current views in design, including Soul Design Foundation, Design Miami Babel, and Do You Read Me? The Soul Design Foundation will be presenting projects that are happening in Seoul as it's the, the world capital of design. There's lots of exciting new things this year, but some of the things that stand out most, I think, are the work of the Burlak Brothers presented by HSBC Private Bank. We are proud of the connections we make for our clients around the world, and as an extension of this, we launched in 2009 a project that we call the Connection Collection. We committed our brand into design. We commissioned designers to create a lounge, and now we are commissioning designers uh, for limited edition uh, design, uh, exclusive pieces that we own and that we can exhibit in our lobbies. The Connection Collection 2 will feature La Liane by the Borelec brothers, who were selected as rising stars in the international world of design. The piece will be exhibited outside the HSBC Private Bank VIP lounge at the fair. our cars as a piece of or a masterpiece of design sometimes and so it was quite easy to bring the cars to the show but also to bring uh, some uh, additional content to the show and to place us between all the other uh, galleries and exhibitors and this is what makes fun on the one hand and uh, brings us the good results on the other hand. I think people will really enjoy the show. It's the best fair we've ever put together. It's still so uh, sophisticated and progressive and this is what it makes always a big surprise for the next show. The highlight of the show is going to be the fair itself. Um, you know, I think a lot of expectations are there. A lot of people is going to come to, um, um, to see and a lot of galleries, a lot of designers um, really prepared it right. You know, I think they're going to bring the best of what they got. It's about supporting design, advocating design, educating the world about design. And I think everybody will leave the venue feeling as though they've seen something new and experienced something absolutely breathtaking.